Melachim Rishon, 1 Kings 12. And Rechav Am went to Shechem. For all Yashrael were come to Shechem to make him king. And it came to pass, when Yarav Am, the son of Nivat, who was yet in Mitzrayim, heard of it, for he was fled from the presence of King Shalomah, and Yarav Am dwelt in Mitzrayim, that they sent and called him. And Yarav Am and all the assembly of Yashadael came and spoke unto Rechev Am, saying, Your father made at our yoke grievous, now, therefore, make you the grievous service of your father. And his heavy yoke, which he put upon us, lighter, and we will serve you. And he said unto them, Depart yet for three days, then come again to me. And the people departed. And the king Rechavam consulted with Eth the old men that stood Eth before Shalomah, his father, while he yet lived, and said, How do ye advise that I may answer at this people? And they spoke unto him, saying, If you will be a servant unto this people this day, and will serve them, and answer them, and speak good words to them, then they will be your servants forever. But he forsook at the counsel of the old men which they had given him, and consulted Eth with the young men that were grown up with him, and which stood before him. And he said unto them, What counsel give ye that we may answer Eth the people, rather this people, who have spoken to me, saying, Make the yoke which your father did put upon us lighter? And the young men that were grown up with him spoke unto him, saying, Thus shall you speak unto this people that spoke unto you, saying, your father made at our yoke heavy, but make it lighter unto us. Thus shall you say unto them, My little finger shall be thicker than my father's loins. And now, whereas my father did lay you with a heavy yoke, I will add to your yoke. My father has chastised you with whips, but I will chastise you with scorpions. So you have... Yarovam and all the people came to Rechavam the third day, as the king had appointed, saying, Come to me again the third day. And the king answered Eth the people roughly, and forsook Eth the old men's counsel that they gave, and spoke to them after the counsel of the young men, saying, My father made Eth your yoke heavy, and I will add to your yoke. My father also chastised you with whips, but I will chastise you with scorpions. Wherefore the king hearkened not unto the people, for the cause was from Yahuwah, that he might perform at his saying, which Yahuwah spoke by Achiahu, the Shiloni, unto Yarov Am, the son of Nivat. So when all Yashadael saw that the king hearkened not unto them, the people answered at the king, saying, What portion have we in David? Neither have we inheritance in the son of Yishai. To your tents, O Yashadael. Now see to your own house, David. So Yashadael departed unto their tents. But as for the children of Yashadael, which dwelt in the cities of Yahudah, Rechavam reigned over them. Then King Rechavam, rather, Rechavam, sent Eth Adaram, who was over the tribute, and all Yashadael stoned him with stones, that he died. Therefore King Rechavam made speed to get him up to his chariot, to flee to Yerushalayim. So, Yerushalayim, rather, Yashadael, rebelled against the house of David unto this day. And it came to pass, when all Yashadael heard that Yaravam was come again, that they sent and called him unto the assembly, and made him king over all Yashadael. There was none that followed the house of David, but the tribe of Yahudah only. 
And when Rechavam was come to Yerushalayim, he assembled at all the house of Yehuda, with at the tribe of Binyamin, a hundred and fourscore thousand chosen men, which were warriors, to fight against the house of Yashadael, to bring at the kingdom again to Rechavam, the son of Shalomah. But the word of Elohim came unto Shimayahu, the son of Elohim, saying, Speak unto Rechavam, the son of Shalomah, king of Yahuda, and unto the, all the house of Yahuda, and Binyamin, and to the remnant of the people, saying, Thus says Yahuah, Ye shall not go up, nor fight against your brethren, the children of Yashadael. Return every man to his house, for this thing is from me. They hearkened therefore eth to the word of Yahuwah and returned to depart according to the word of Yahuwah. Then Yaravam built eth Shechem in Mount Ephraim and dwelt therein and went out from thence and built eth Penuel. And Yaravam said in his heart, Now shall the kingdom return to the house of David if this people go up to do sacrifice in the house of Yahuwah at Yerushalayim. Then shall the heart of this people turn again unto their Lord, even unto Rechavam, king of Yehuda. And they shall kill me and go again to Rechavam, king of Yehuda. Whereupon the king took counsel and made two calves of gold and said unto them, It is too much for you to go up to Yerushalayim. Behold, your Elohim, O Yashadael, which brought you up out of the land of Mitzrayim. And he set eth the one in Beth El, and the other put he eth in Dan. And this thing became a sin. For the people went to worship before the one, even unto Dan. And he made eth a house of high places, and made priests of the lowest of the people, which were not of the sons of Levi. And Yaravam ordained a feast in the eighth month, on the fifteenth day of the month, like unto the feast that is in Yahuda, and he offered upon the altar. So did he in Beit El, sacrificing unto the calves that he had made, and he placed in Beethel at the priests of the high places which he had made. So he offered upon the altar which he had made in Beethel the fifteenth day of the eighth month, even in the month which he had devised of his own heart, and ordained a feast unto the children of Yashadael. And he offered upon the altar and burnt incense.